medical dilemma. Welcome back to Medical Dilemma. Before we start our discussion for the second segment, I'd like to uh, mention our major sponsors, uh, St. Clair's Medical Center, Medical, uh, Makati Medical Center, uh, LifeQuest Training and Consultancy Corporation. Now, joining me for the second segment are my co-hosts, Attorney Sara Sugitan, uh, Father Jerry Manlangit, and Dr. Tess Sanchez. Okay, of course, we still have our guest, uh, Dr. Bong Gloria. Thank you. Okay. Now, uh, to open the uh, discussion for the second segment, uh, I think it's best that we first show that picture of the vascular system uh, and ask Dr. Gloria to explain a bit you know, what the picture shows. Uh, ang, well, the vascular system or the circulatory system is composed of two main major systems, which is the artery and the vein. Mm -hmm. So the artery carries oxygenated blood, basically. That the artery comes from the heart also, then it supplies oxygen to the, the target organs. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then once we utilize the, the, the oxygen or the target organ uses the oxygen, it goes to the path where, where in the venous system mm -hmm. okay, or the blue, the blue, the blue colored veins, it carries it back to the heart, to the, the lungs to recirculate it. Mm -hmm. so, so in the photo, just to make it clear, the, the red part uh, represents the, the, uh, artery, the arteries, which is oxygenated blood. Okay, and oxygenated. then the blue, then the blue is the unoxygenated, which is which which goes up, or which is uh, goes to the lungs to the heart mm -hmm. to be re recirculated, re oxygenated. Yeah. Okay, so I guess that's clear now. Now, uh, one thing that I would like to be clear about is the uh, presence of wounds in the lower extremities. Okay. Okay, uh, when you have wounds, does that mean you are already a diabetic? Uh, uh, actually, yan po din ang hindi medyo hindi magandang ano. Kasi hindi porket may sugat ka o paniniwala, mm -hmm. tama po. Uh, hindi porket may sugat ka, mayroon kang diabetes. Okay. Uh, kalimitan nangyayari kasi sa atin, pagka mayroon tayong sugat, mm -hmm. ang inaano natin is, nako, hindi gumagaling sugat mo. Mm -hmm. But may diabetes ka na. Well, Actually, maganda rin yun in, in a way. Kasi mm -hmm. kahit papano, yun yung mag-trigger sa'yo para magtulak sa'yo na magpatingin sa doktor. At malaman okay. mo kung may diabetes ka. So, mm -hmm. yun po ang medyo pagkaka-misunderstanding doon. Kasi very common din ang diabetes sa population natin. Yes, ma'am. Ma yes, ma Kaya we're always Opo. very conscious about Opo. Kaya maganda rin po. So, if we have such wounds, uh, which specialist do we go to? Um, kadalasan naman kasi depende naman sa lugar natin eh. mm -hmm. especially pero maganda rito sa sa dito sa ating sa ciudad or sa sa Manila is, this is a highly specialized uh, area so you can go to a surgeon go to a dermatologist go on, go to an internist okay. go to a vascular surgeon okay. um, marunong naman halos naman well lahat naman ng doktor marunong naman tumingin ng, ng sugat eh. then once they see the sugat Eh, siyempre, titignan nila kung may diabetes ko. Wala. Number mm -hmm. one yan. Mm -hmm. Lalo na kung meron tayo, medyo may edad tayo. Mm -hmm. And then, kung sakali talagang medyo malala yung sugat, that's the time na magkakaroon ng referral system. I either sa surgeon, a vascular surgeon, mm -hmm. an orthopedic surgeon, okay. derma, kung pwede. Na. So, ah, doon okay. naman po. Pwede naman, marami naman pwede puntaan. I see. Uh, for example, when you have this wound, what uh, are no? possible complications that happen if you have a sugat? Well, of course, the problem with the sugat is infection. The limit of the sugat, especially if there are many kinds of wounds. Oh, oh. Uh, Concentrate on the legs. Yes. Um, kung sa paa naman, mm -hmm. Unless, kunyari, hindi ka naman siguro nasagasan o nadapa o ano. Mm -hmm. Kalimitan na nangyayari sa atin is yung mga kagat lang ng hayop. Or mm -hmm. napintrig ka lang, nasugat ka lang na malit. Mm -hmm. And then, pagka napapabayaan yan at nanineglect, kalimitan, lumalala na lumalala yan. Ah, okay. oh. Napapasok na infeksyon. Mm -hmm. okay. Pagka hindi makotol na infeksyon. And ang problema kasi sa setting natin, ma'am, pagka dumating sa atin, medyo malala na. Mm -hmm. Hindi sila, uy, malit lang ito, kagat lang ng hayop. Okay mm -hmm. lang, bayan mo na. Mas kaya ng hayop? 
Ah, uh, uh, kasi yung mga uh, ano diyan uh, issue mga mosquitoes, mosquitoes mga lamok. Yes, oo. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, ganyan. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, dapat maging wary din tayo na pag kami sugat tayo. Dapat medyo pag lalo pag hindi gumagaling. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Kaya nga minsan sabi ko kanina, mas maganda pa rin na pag hindi gumagaling, pa check up kagad kasi so, lahat, oo. Oh, oh. Doon mo mm-hmm. nalalaman kung kung ano talaga ang problema. Mm-hmm. Atani sa yes. yeah, you mentioned dun sa first segment natin that uh, vasculitis is uh, often found in people whose job requires them to stand long hours. Yeah. Pero I read a study na sitting down for long hours is also harmful to your I mean I, I don't know if uh, health or body posture mm-hmm. etc. So should I mean where do we draw the balance between standing up long hours and then sitting down for <laughs> for long hours? Kung mm-hmm. Ato ni pagka kasi kung titingnan mo yung parehas na problema, okay, sitting down and standing up. Basically, ang ginagawa niya is pagka nakaupo tayo ng matagal, bumabagal yung dali ng dugo natin. Kaya nga, kung ka nang kalimitan kung nagtatravel tayo ng malayo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have Usually, to di ba, may sa mga aeroplano, may nakikita tayo mga foot exercises. Yes, exercises. So, yes. bakit kailangan nun? To stimulate the blood supply. Okay. So, Ang kalaban mo naman sa pagkatayo, attorney, is yung gravity. Nakatayo ka eh. So, uh-huh. it will take, oh, may, medyo mahihirapan yung pagdali ng dugo paakyat kasi uh-huh. kinakalaban yung gravity. So, nagkakaroon tayo na tinatawag ng stasis flow or pagbagal ng daloy. So, basically, halos parehas lang yun. Kung nakatayo ka or nakaupo ka. Kasi kung nakaupo, nakaupo ka naman, hindi mo rin ginagalo yung paa mo, ganun Masama din siya, bubagal din yung daloy. So, halos parehas lang po Mm-hmm. Pero ba't po ano yung parang namamaga yung ugat, yung pag halimbawa, nung, nung bata kasi ako sa school, pag syempre naglalaro, ganun, maghapon, tapos sa pag-uwi sabihin nila huwag maghugas or huwag magbasa ng paa kasi daw magkakaroon ng pasma. So kasi kapag daw po nagkapasma, mamamaga yung ugat, tapos papawisan palagi. Totoo po ba yun? May mga ano ba yun? <laughs> From a medical point of view? Or is this all? Um, diba? May, may ano wala, yun? Is this all? Ano, may basis ba yun? <laughs> Wala po kasi ng ni na medical term ng ma- ma- ng pasma eh. Ah. Wala naman eh. If you're going to kung maghahanap po tayo ng katumbas na English word ng kasi yung pasma is parang parang Filipino word 'yon eh, mm. So, pero pag hahanapin mo <laughs> yung Filipino word na pasma, wala namang word na medical word na pasma eh. So, oh, like, it's not the same so, as minamanas, it's different. No, manas uh, is ano po, edema eh. Edema, oh. edema. Eh. So, ito. Mm-hmm. Hindi kasi parang ganun yung paniwala eh. Kapag matagal ka nakatayo or nakamedyas ha do. Kasi di ba kapag grade school you're in uniform, pagkatanggal mo daw ng medyas, huwag ka daw magbabasa agad ng paa kasi mapapas maka. May ganung uh, maybe superstitious belief na no, uh, apparently no. walang medical <laughs> ano. Kasi may kilala ko old wives tales na sabi nila. But talagang ang ganda ng kanyang legs, walang kaugat-ugat and that's what she really practices. Maski na yung nanganganak among the Chinese, they say, hindi ka dapat maligo ka agad because baka nga maano yun yung mga ugat pero it's interesting na there's no scientific term for pasma no kasi it means that it's either hindi pa yun na pag-aralan or maybe there is no equivalent there is no mm-hmm. ano ba yan parang oh. hindi siya di ba hindi siya backed up by studies wala. so we learned wala. something today yes. no <laughs> Filipino word na walang katumbas <laughs> meron pang isang sinabi si Doc kanina mm-hmm. na interested ako y- you said yung uh, yung people who have to work standing long hours yeah for example mm-hmm. mga cameramen natin how to how do you prevent for example yung vasculitis do they need uh, to wear compression socks all the time Doc or Ako, ayaw nila <laughs> mainit mainit <laughs> uh, yung compression actually socks. tama ma'am uh, uh-huh. wala ho kasi medyo mahirap talaga magsuot ng stockings oh masikip eh kasi no, uno na mahirap isuot Pangalawa, masikip. Pangalawa, sa environment kasi natin, medyo mainit kasi sa atin, eh, tropical. Kaya medyo mainit talaga siya, isuot. So, pero kung hindi tayo magsusot ng stocking, so ang isang pwede natin gawin pagdating sa bahay, i-elevate natin yung paa natin ng 15 minutes. Okay? Mm-hmm. And then, hindi pwede, kunyari, takaw po tayo ngayon, dapat yan, medyo ginagalaw bulaw mo ng konti. Paano si stimulate mo yung, yung, blood, yung blood flow at so, hindi manatili o bumagal ang daloy? So, doctor, is it true that when you do inversion exercises, it helps? You know, like when you wear anti-gravity boots, then you hang yourself upside down for a few minutes. Well, does that really help? Extreme. Ah. Pwede po, pwede po. Kasi tutulungan niya yung dalaw niya pabalik sa puso. Eh. Yes. So, tutulong siya kahit pa paano. Pero, mm-hmm. hindi not, not so long naman po. Mm-hmm. Usually, pagka ganun, in, ang recommendation nga lang namin is, Keep it two pillows eh. Dalawang mm-hmm. unan lang po. Just two pillows is enough. To elevate your leg 15 mm-hmm. minutes a day. Then, 
That's it's okay. more it than doesn't enough. have to be a 90 degree mm -hmm. angle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your compression yeah. stockings, I mean, do you have to wear it 24 hours a day? Hindi naman. Um, mas maganda ang pagkagising mo sa umaga, mm -hmm. suot mo na. Mm -hmm. Pagka, pagka uwi mo, tanggalin mo, ligo ka na. So that brings yes, father. Well, uh, uh, let's go back to this uh, particular disease, no? Uh, well, uh, because this particular disease can be uh, well, can be treated by, as you have said, by a vascular doctor, a dermatologist, or even a general surgeon, yeah. because they probably have the expertise of everything. There are times in which patients would like to go to other doctors, for example, no? And there is where, for example, the Sometimes the ethical issue would come in. Uh, you know, uh, there are doctors who seem to begrudge the fact that doctor, pwede ba akong kapunta sa ibang doctor para maipakita ko for second opinion or something oh, like that. Med, uh, no? Family, family med, med or something family. like that. This referral system. No? Uh, how do you take this? No? Because, well, as you have said, can, pwede yung dermatologist, pwede yung general surgeon, pwede yung ikaw, vascular uh, so, expert. Maybe sa una matter. lang. In the, uh, initially, uh -huh. di ba? And sometimes the patients, well, uh, I'm not satisfied. Mm -hmm. oh. Well, actually, Father, pagka ganong mga pagkakataon kasi, and I, 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 per, I, ako personally po, nakaranas na ako dyan na, uh -huh. ang isang pasyente o isang tao may sugat, is galing sa ibang doktor. Oo, uh -huh. uh -huh. iba that's, right. that's right. Iba-iba ng pinuntahan. Kaya lang pupunta sa doc, di ako gumagaling sa kanya eh. Right, right. Hindi ako gumagaling. Ba't ganun? So, parang kumbaga, ako naman ho titingin. And mm -hmm. for me, sometimes kasi po, no, uh, yung sugat kasi, anybody can manage naman sugat. Right. Kahit, nga, oh. kahit nga walang doktor, kahit, kahit misi may pasyente po, eh, di ba? Mm -hmm. Kahit lang gamutin yung sarili nila. Pero, ang ano dyan kasi, minsan, maganda na makita ng tamang doktor para ma-evaluate ng maayos, ma-examine ng maayos. Yet there is where sometimes the, the dilemma would come in because, well, if a patient would go to the doctor, he wants to treat it. Whether or not he has the expertise, kaya ko naman ito, or something like that. Now, nung hindi gumagaling, he would go to another doctor, then to another doctor for that matter. So sometimes, <coughs> well, parang kadilema na tuloy yung ones, sino ba talang pupundahan ko? Precisely because, well, as you have said, you go from one doctor to another, something like that. The patient trust is also compromised. Patient right may also be compromised. And it's always the patient who should make the decision for that matter. I think so. It's, uh, yeah. I, I don't know, Father. I think it's a matter of transparency. I think the doctor should tell the patient, you know, hangga dito lang alam ko. I, I remember I'm an orthopedic or I'm just a family man. Let's try to treat it. Pag hindi kaya, refer kita sa iba. What do you think, Father? What do you mm. think? Think of other ano dyan kasi, uh, ang malaking factor dyan kasi yung proximity. Oh, proximity, yes, yes. availability ng doktor po. Yes, uh, oh. Yan think ko yung isang malaking bagay. I think so, yeah. And marami kasi sa atin, especially sa mga far-flung areas, tulad po mga probinsya, mm -hmm. and mga liblib na lugar, wala right. silang available na yung talagang specialist. Okay. So, right. ang mangyari po dyan, Father, is pupunta sila diretso kung sinong available na doktor. Right. And the doctor, who probably may not have the expertise, something like that, would also like to treat it. And probably not because of any malice or anything, but because he wants to help. Apo. Okay. He wants to help. Any doctor would like to help. No? At saka pag hindi naman mukhang malala na, eh, kunwari nakikita mo na yung buto doon, siyempre siguro, <laughs> <laughs> first aid na lang. Right, right, right. right. Uh -huh. So it, probably it's all it's still education that will uh, probably give answer to this, no? Uh, the patient must be educated as to whom or who the doctor should, uh, uh, well, should ask. Uh, because sometimes it's, uh, the doctor will say, okay, mm -hmm. let's, let's treat it. I, I remember, <laughs> Father, I remember one case sa ER. Talagang yung bata, uh, may dala siyang anak niya, no? Mm. Eh, pero naghanap talaga ng specialist. Sabi niya, I do not want any pediatrician uh, lang. Kailangan, ano, pulmonary pediatrician. Kasi meron siyang asthma. Di siyempre, mas oh. mahal ang charge, di ba? So, how is it? Is it that way also in your profession, Doc? Ako. Personal ni Mamide. Sa ako same. Ah, the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. As the rest. Yes. As the rest. Uh, Okay. Uh, attorney, I have a question uh, because uh, it seems that vasculitis 
is uh, caused by certain occupations. So, can we consider vasculitis as an occupational hazard? Oh yes, definitely. It's a um, uh, Sabi nga ni Doc, yung may indication that it can be a work-related mm. or it's caused by a certain work mm. environment. Ngayon, ano yung duties doon, for example, ng employer the or employer, the establishment? employer, yes. That's the question I have uh, in mind. Kasi ang problema ngayon, Sunny, most of the employees, for example, um, sales ladies, mm. are employed by agencies. They're right, not directly right. employed by work, their by place the, of work, yes, for example, yes. not in the mall where they yes. work. So, the one who should provide the tools or or whatever is necessary to mm. to address this occupational hazard should be the um, the principal, so right. your agency. That's correct. It's not That's the correct. mall itself or the establishment mm. where the sales ladies are working, for example. So, it's a uh, uh, you may say even to the extreme, it may be an unjust scenario mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. the one who should contribute to that is, for example, the place of work mm -hmm. where these people are working. However, in reality or in um, the legal relationships are such that uh, the burden falls on the agency the agent, rather than yes. Not the, the place of work. Right. Yes, of the um, may tawag sa kanila contractual. Mm. So, so yeah. in oh. which case, uh, if a patient, let's say, is suffering or is detected to have vasculitis, can he or she uh, sort of go back Claim. to the agency employer <laughs> and ask for I think they're covered recompense by or I think by here up here because you don't, mm -hmm. you don't know when the vasculitis is, or the, yes. that problem started, mm -hmm. diba? It has diba, to be work-related. Doctor, may I pass the back to you? I mean, diba normally as we age, we re tend to develop these problems like yes. uh, varicosities, uh. etc. So <laughs> how can you just pinpoint that it's due to his work or her work? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it has to be clearly delineated, Doctor. Uh, like for example, in the case of um, that's a hazard. Uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, occupational uh, hazard. Occupational but you can, hazard, you, won't, yeah. you need not. There has to be a hazard there. pay. Mm. Just oh, for the veins, more, 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 than, <laughs> more than the more than the uh, salaries and wages, something mm -hmm. more because. There has to be hazard pay. So initially, they have to check first the legs. Are, do you have varicosities? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! So they no. undergo a general PE, I believe, but they're only covered by a very minimum or very basic coverage. Siguro like kung grabe yung mga ugat. Yes. Oh, pero hindi mo na hire. Hindi na siya hindi oh, employ. <laughs> yes. So no longer fit to work. Naman. Siguro <laughs> Pero for example, in other diseases, for example, in the case of seafarers, if um, the injury or the um, disease is a direct uh, is directly linked to or caused by the kind of work that mm -hmm. they uh, they had to perform, then they can claim for compensation. Mm -hmm. Pero sabi nga ni Doktora, hindi ano eh, wala, wala tayong case na nag-claim ng compensation for uh, va va ano, va vasculitis. Vasculitis. So, uh, yes. Actually, ma'am, pag kalimitan, kalimitan ng mga yung mga ginagamot namin dyan. Mm -hmm. eh, especially yung mga magtatrabaho, mag apply na. Uh -huh. Kung meron ng mga malalaki ugat na may vasculitis, may various veins. And tama po, Ador Nino, meron kaming mga nakikita ho doon na yung, hindi sila makakaalis. Unless i-treat yun or unless may clearance sa ano. So, pagka, kapag uh, nag pre-employment physical examination, mm -hmm. meron sila nakikita ng problema sa ugat. Ah, kasi, oo. Oh, okay. Kaya dinimitan, dimingi sila ng clearance, clearance sa, sa, mm -hmm. sa ampat ng doktor para okay. doon. Kasi ano sila, long hours, yes, long po. weeks out And marami po, marami po kami mam, ano, uh, na ginagamot o inooperahan, eh, karamitan mga, mga siman o no, nag-abroad o nag-apply ng trabaho. Kasi okay, pag doctor, minakit sila. Yeah. Okay, doctor, we'll have to uh, pause for another commercial break. Uh, we'll be right back after a few words from our sponsors. Thank you.
products were designed to be used in industrial and medical economy. Okay? 